a lot of people were asking in the community, you know, what makes a good trader and would you advise that as a career choice going forward, especially with the advent of AI? Yeah, that's tough. You know, uh, I was a trader uh, for a very long time uh, and trading is a difficult, that is not an easy profession. Let's just put it out there. Number one, it's very difficult to trade, trade momentum. Uh, you have to be extraordinarily disciplined. You have to have, you have to set markers on everything and stick to them. You know, uh, it, it's a, it's a very difficult profession. Number one, uh, investing is not as difficult because if you're investing in, in high quality, high conviction, long-term investments, you wind up doing better than most just traders. Now there are people who are extraordinary at it. I'm not, you know, they, they just have a gift for it. Uh, but it is a very difficult and time consuming profession. You're sitting in front of the computer for 10, 12, 14 hours a day, staring at a screen, trying to watch for movements and reacting. And the problem is with trading is that you have to react to everything that's going on to the mar you know, on the market daily. So you have exposures that are, are going to move according to intraday announcements, intraday developments. And that's a, that's, it is a very, I don't recommend it for the average person. I truly don't. Um, now that said, if you do something, that's a little bit different. If you trade something that's called arbitrage, well, that's a much, much, much more disciplined profession in and of itself. And it's I don't have quite, did I freeze? You did. You don't have quite the same intraday risk as you do with other strategies. That's a whole nother, that's a whole nother world though. Yeah, it's funny. I, I love ARB myself and uh, built models around it. And one of the funnest ones is the ARB between MicroStrategy and Bitcoin. It is, yeah. it's like stealing candy from a child.